Hi, I'm Shaka Starks. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to show y'all how I DIY this look. If you want to see how I did it, keep watching. So let's jump right into this look. I'm starting off by parting my leave out. I'm just going to braid this. I'm doing a middle part. So I'm making sure that I have enough hair to cover my tracks. Um, I'm also making sure that my baby hairs on the side are separated so I can braid my anchor braids. I do my anchor braids with uh, synthetic braiding hair and I use this oil on the braiding hair and on my actual hair. I make sure that my hair is nice and moisturized um, while I'm doing these braids. These two anchor braids at the top, I want to make sure are nice and flat and as close to my part as possible so I don't have a gap between my leave out and my sew-in. Um, I'm just doing the anchor braids around the perimeter of my head. You can see I'm going to go all the way to the back and then the next braid will just be straight back and I connect them. I finish my braid pattern by just doing straight back braids and connecting the ends and then sewing them all down. This is what it looks like. I only use the braiding hair for the anchor braids. Um, the rest of the hair, I just braid my natural hair. This yes. is my hack. I love this a dome cap. Is good. It makes it's everything good. so much easier. The fact that I found a dome cap that was so big, I was like so it's impressed because so they're usually really it's small and really tight. Yeah. So try to find this one, y'all. I think I got this from the beauty supply store. Now I'm just going to sew down the dome cap. Um to my anchor braids. I do this pretty, you know, I make sure that I don't sew down too, too tight um, because I don't want a lot of tension on these braids, obviously. Um, I also didn't braid them super tight. I just, that's the, the best thing about doing your own hair is you can kind of feel when you need to ease up. So then I cut off the rest of the dome cap um, and I'm just going to start to sew. I start to sew the first track on the bottom of that braid. I double the weft and I just go back and forth and flip it over when I get to the end. I use the clips to help um, hold the track in place so it's not sliding. Um, I'll use this throughout the whole entire video. If you have clips or bobby pins, I highly suggest using them while you're doing your own hair. It makes everything so much easier. This dome cap, y'all, if you haven't tried doing your weave with a dome cap, it just makes everything easier. It keeps everything nice and flat and your hair is protected underneath now this part y'all if you have thin fine edges like i do and you gotta finesse this slow this part down and watch what i'm doing make sure that you are laying the track all the way to the top and you're gonna bring this track all the way around make sure it's under the braid and you're just going to sew this 
from the top around your head. When you get to the back, you can fold it over. I'll just let y'all watch what I do, but this is super important. same thing on this side again like the way you lay your tracks is so important if you have thin edges and you're trying to make sure you know you're hiding them so you want your hair to go towards the front of your head and you also want to make sure that it's nice and flat at the top at that top braid so for these um where I'm laying these tracks I'm not flipping them I'm not folding them from the top this is also hair that I've used like four or five times so it's already cut into pieces um, so I'm making sure that the end is at the top just showing y'all how I knot my needles or knot my thread I do about like an arm's length so it's not too long and it doesn't get tangled but I do fold my wefts I just make sure that I only fold them in the back when I flip when I flip it over I don't flip it over in the front or at the top because I don't want you know a bump so I'm just make sure it's in the back So I'm laying each track in kind of like a U shape. Um, so I'm just going to fill that in. That's what I'm doing. This hair is from Indie Care. Oh, look at my baby, y'all. Not sleeping. Yes. Yes. All right. So my bad. This hair is from Indie Care. Um, I love, love, love this hair company. I've used this hair in so many of my videos. If I've if you watched a full sewing on my channel, I've used Indie Care. It's either this these exact bundles or another set of bundles that I have. Um, it's in 20 inch. It's their wavy texture, um, and I believe it's their pure line, and it's so pretty. So here I'm just showing y'all that I I ended up flipping this track in the front, but I made sure it was super flat so there's no bump. Look at my baby, y'all. Falling off the bed. Okay. <laughs> so I'm back, and I'm on this last track. This is really important if you have thin edges like me and you don't want to... Um, you don't want your weave to be back too far. I make sure that I I put that track over the braid and I just like leave a little flap in the front. There's no hair for me to sew it on. Like the braid doesn't go up that far, but I make sure that I start the track. Um, I lay the track a little before the braid, if that makes sense. And then I start to sew behind. So it leaves a little flap just so that there's no, there's not a big gap. And then I just sew it around. I sew it to the back. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, pocket, I see you.
you know that feeling when you're almost done, your arms is tired, yeah, I'm there. So it's the next morning. <laughs> I just put my scarf on, went to bed, baby still asleep. So I'm gonna try to get this color rocking off. Here's what we working with the next day. I decided I just wanted to do highlights um, in the front going toward my face. I really wanted them to be more blonde. Um, it didn't turn out that way, but I ended up really, really, really liking the color. So I just parted away the hair um, that I wanted to color. I'm mixing this developer in this powdered bleach concoction. And I'm just going to start slapping this on my hair. I could have done this way neater. And I probably should have started from the bottom and worked my way up. So if you're doing this, do that. Don't do this. Start from the bottom and work your way up. I tried to do like this teasing method to get like some streaks in there and some highlights and low lights. And I didn't really know what I was doing right here. But, you know, I'm going to show y'all how I got what I got. Here I'm just balling my leftovers up in the spoil. <laughs> JK. I am putting my hair in the foil so that it can process and not get all over my face and all over my clothes um and I also wanted to make sure I didn't go up too high because you know my leave out is dark so I wanted it to kind of you know give that kind of effect I rinsed it out it didn't look like anything happened so now I'm slapping some more of that bleach on there and I'm gonna try it again Back in the foil. This time it got a little lighter, but still not as light as I wanted it. So I ended up doing it again. Um, here I'm just conditioning it with this toner conditioner, this purple toner. Made the hair really soft, but I also thought it made it a little darker. So I'm going to go in one more time using these products this time. Left it in for 15 minutes. Right, so I'll let that stay off. in for like 15, 20 minutes. I don't know, it seems like a long time. It doesn't look like it did much so far, but it's wet, so we'll see. So I'm just going to use this conditioner, this deep conditioner, instead of the toner. So hopefully it will, you know, not change the color so much and it can be like lighter because that's what I want. So we'll see. So I just blow dried it and it's not getting light. Like it's getting reddish brown. I don't know. And I'm pretty sure I'm frying the hair up. It's pretty... It looks so red. I think I'm just gonna take like these two pieces here and see if I can just get them like a little lighter. Then maybe, maybe that'll give like a gradient effect. I don't know. I just know I, I want it. I don't really. This is not what I'm going for. This was not the plan, okay? It's cool, it's different, but it's not the plan. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this one more time. So I'm going to take my mixture and I'm going to add some more powder in there. I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's not enough powder. It smells so strong. I don't know. If y'all have done this before, I know, 
I've done this before. It hasn't been this hard. So now I'm thinking like maybe it's the hair that's not lifting. But if y'all done this before, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Um, Cause now it's just annoying. This time I brought out my blow dryer to try to process it a little faster, add some heat, joint was hot, and this is what I got. I am just showing y'all how I styled it the next day because I was over it that night and my camera died. So I'm just um, cutting some light layers. This is the color y'all. It's so pretty. So pretty. And I just style it like I always style my hair just with my flat iron curling my hair towards the back. I add a little hairspray, finesse my edges, and that's it. This is the final look. I absolutely love this color, y'all. I am so proud of the way that this came out with all of my failed attempts. I love the final look. Um, if you like how this came out, if you like this sewing technique, show me some love in the comments section. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.